With the world facing an ever worsening crisis, the only thing spreading faster than COVID is misinformation. And nothing says misinformation than conspiracy theories. And the Philippines is definitely no stranger to this. I am Bugatti this bird from the Bow City. And these are five of the craziest Pinoy conspiracy theories of all time. Number one, a half man, half snake creature terrorizes local moors. Back in the late 80s, tales of a snake-like monster feeding on unsuspecting shoppers terrified mall goers across the country, easily becoming one of the Philippines' most famous urban legends. According to the myth, this half man, half snake, which still can't figure which half is which, was allegedly the snake twin of one of the children of the owner of one of Metro Manila's most prominent shopping malls. The snake man was said to stalk and spy on various women as they were changing in the fitting room with, you guessed it, the mall security cameras. And when this tech-savvy perv of a creature finds its woman of choice, it strikes by pulling a hidden lever that opens a trap door right beneath the dressing room and drops its would-be prey into its lair. The myth became so well known that a famous Filipino actress was even rumoured to be almost one of the monster's victims but narrowly escaped and was paid a fortune to keep her mouth shut. Mm. Mates, this conspiracy got me so curious, I recently visited the mall to investigate for myself and what do you know, the only monstrous half-snake creature in there was me. I wanna be like Putin. Number 2. A madman injects moviegoers with a virus Another spine-chilling urban legend born out of the so-called mall wars. <laughs> That's right, mate. The Philippines has so many malls that there were all-out wars amongst them. Or should I say, mall-out wars? This, however, was a tale of a deranged bloke who wielded a syringe full of virus-ridden blood and injected random moviegoers with it. According to the OG Maritesis of the day, the perpetrator sported a black baseball cap and a black hoodie as he stealthily attacked his unknowing victims with the virus, maniacally letting out the evilest of laughs as he completely blended and disappeared back into the crowd. Another version of this blood-curdling story was how the culprit would embed virus-laden needles on cinema chairs as he creepily waited for his victim to sit on it, as other movie patrons hear his trademark laugh echo across the cinema. The rumours reportedly stopped as the next iterations became so ridiculous they were downright stupid. My source said he also controlled an army of rats to deliver virus needles into the heels of people before maniacally letting out laughter across the PA systems. Ooh, Angiro. <laughs> <coughs> Number 3. Adolf Hitler's biological father was José Rizal. Mates, with national hero José Rizal being one of the most famous figures in Philippine history, it's nearly impossible, even for him, to avoid nasty rumours and conspiracy theories. One Rizal rumour was how Rizal sired several historical figures, including Mao Zedong and Tomoyuki Yamashita. <coughs> But nothing was more well known a conspiracy as the one where he fathered the German dictator Adolf Hitler. As the story goes, Rizal's frequent travels to Germany and Austria during the late 1880s somehow led to a one night stand with an Austrian woman named Clara, who just happens to be Hitler's mum. <coughs> Though a travel log did actually put him in roughly the same place in time as Hitler's birth, the Pinoy conspirators' primary evidence for this, you guessed it. The similar hairstyle and moustache combo. Mind effing blown. With this logic, my father must be Brad Pitt. I mean, the resemblance is uncanny. Aww. I want to hurry, I whispered, smiling weakly, trying to make a joke of it. I want to be a monster too. <gasps> Number four, Jose Rizal was Jack the Ripper. Another one of these Rizal conspiracies also has got to be the most intriguing of them all, 
given the several coincidences that accompany the story. As you know, Jack the Ripper was an unidentified serial killer who brutally murdered prostitutes in the Whitechapel district of London in 1888. Jose Rizal happened to be in London during the exact same time of the murders and what's even crazier is that as soon as Rizal left, the killings mysteriously stopped. Coincidence? Many think not, as Jack the Ripper also was thought to have had some surgical and anatomical knowledge due to the way he mutilated his female victims. That and probably the horrible penmanship. And surprise, surprise, Dr. Jose Rizal was an ophthalmic surgeon and was therefore skilled with a scalpel. And if that doesn't convince you, the strongest evidence people had was, you're right again, they bore the same initial. <gasps> One major fact, however, didn't add up, as there was a drastic difference in height, as the Ripper was said to be around just 5'5 to 5'8, while Rizal was a towering 4 feet and 11 inches. Emotional damage! And finally, a conspiracy so big that if word of this got out, the Philippines will soon descend into chaos. Number four. The Philippines. The last, the last time, I am not Jiki Rowling. Ah, and that's it, mates. Did you think we'd miss anything? Write it down in the comments section. And do check out our other videos with Comedy Central, where I do an extremely bogart take on conspiracy theories. Cheers!